Um, I was having some difficulties on my end. Technology's hard. I was watching. Oh God, oh God, so embarrassing. Well, wow, really technology. Look, we're not we're not in the technology <laughs> business. We're in the. <laughs> You know, it's kind of crazy. I was telling people, I was like, it's insane that my job is what it is, and I'm so bad at tech. Like, please don't put any new, like, I just ordered some of those little ear pods, because this looks so tacky, but I don't know how to use them. I like, <laughs> I like the classic headphone, man. Right? I feel like, I feel like I'd lose the, the things, especially, you know, when you're traveling on planes and you're sleeping so much. I feel like one of them exactly. babies is going to drop right out of my ear. That's I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to set my timer see how long it takes me to lose one of those because it's not going to take yeah. long probably well Good thanks luck. for joining in on ig live champ my pleasure i haven't i don't think i've even gotten to talk to you since you retained your title so congratulations oh thank you very much thank you delighted it's, been, it's, it's over it's over there it's over there it's okay it's it needs the rest the couch, too now. it's been a year since it's you became Becky. Year. isn't that crazy like does it yeah. feel like it's been a year um, no, but I don't think, I think when you're in WWE, nothing feels like, like time just, I don't know if it stops or it goes real fast or something, but because you're just always on the go, you're always on the move. Like after WrestleMania, it's not like uh, last year I'm talking about, uh, it's, I didn't get to sit down and, and think about how monumental it was. It was up an hour and a half later and off to do media and then the next night off to Raw and, get punched in the face by Lacey Evans and, and so the cycle <laughs> continues, you know what I mean? Yep. But you've continued to defend that title and you've continued to come home with it. Uh, and correct me if, I, if I'm wrong here, you you are, I think, on the verge now of being the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, including women, like, I think maybe AJ Lee was at like 400 or so and you are right on her. I think I you're right think there. I beat AJ, but I, I could be wrong. Maybe you, okay, just for the sake of, think I'm for the, the sake of it, reigning. confetti think, everywhere. You are the longest reigning women's champion. Think, yes, yes, certainly the longest reigning Raw women's champion. 100%. Well, congrats on that. Uh, so here on the Brax, obviously we like to talk a little bit about who you are, uh, your career, but also I like to play games. So at some point we're going to do like a quick fire game too. So I'll prepare yes, you for that. One. Okay, all right. Cool. Okay. So first of all, uh, I just, for my personal reasons, want to talk about your jacket. I tweeted about it. Let's just acknowledge that jacket that you wore at WrestleMania. Uh, incredible. Thank you. Where, where can I get one? Uh, I, I <laughs> went on Etsy and um, some nice man in, in Thailand made it. And so, um, but you also had to get an inscription on the back. So I put on uh, the man, the champ, the first, the goat. Um, but the way that it was written, so I, I didn't show you the back, but like the way that it was written was all off kilter, but the front was great. It looked, it looked incredible. And then, of course, you rolled up in your truck. You're driving that thing, right? Is it parked in I your... I am driving your... that thing. Okay. What's parking yeah. it like? Can you can you park it up, like parallel park uh, or anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great at truck driving, me. Always, <laughs> always being an avid truck driver. I'm great at it. I believe it. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you to take me on a ride in that one of these days. Oh, uh, yeah. I would, there's, there's a little cabin in the back. <laughs> I might need you to help boost me in it, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to, my short legs aren't going to be able to get in there. Yeah, I can give you, <laughs> I can give you a high uh, So some interesting facts about you, obviously, uh, which one, yeah, I think you've been open about this. I almost uh, called you in full clown makeup, because I know you have like this thing for clowns, right? Oh, yeah, I love clowns. I love you the have art of clowns. Not like, not like clowns. Not, not just cl like clowns. Not like Freaking, yeah, not like Ronald McDonald, like the art of clown. That's what I studied. Uh, I studied the art of clown. That, and, that, uh, that, <laughs> you are the yeah. only person there in my life who can say that they've started, studied the art of clown. Well, well so, so I went, um, so I was in college and uh, I was doing a, a, a module. It was physical theater. And part of it was, uh, was this clown workshop. Uh, and this was in Columbia Sh College, Chicago. And like I, I put on this little red mask and, uh, and and instantly I got up there and just freaking tears started coming out. Everybody, everybody did the same thing. And, uh, and, and I was like, what is this thing? What, how does it have this power? So I stayed on that summer and I, I studied more of it. And then when I came back to Ireland and finished my degree, I, I, I was so fascinated 
by how it correlates to acting and um, how it can bring out a, a truth in a performance. So uh, I, uh, I, I, I did my thesis on it. That's, that's incredibly fast. Now, you say, okay, so you like, obviously, the art of clown, but are you also, but you're, so you're not, like, necessarily, though, into just, like, like, a, like Pennywise. Like you said, you're not, like, into a specific clown. You just like the art behind it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> I love that. So you were raised in Dublin, am mm -hmm. I correct? Yeah. Yep. What, was, what was it like being raised in, in Dublin? I mean, obviously, you're living in the United States now. You're in California. Uh, what do you think the big difference, the biggest difference is between Ireland and the U.S.? Well, so I don't know what the difference between being raised in, in Ireland and yeah, the obviously, US is, yeah. obviously. Um, but, and, and I did move over here fairly young. Um, man, I don't, I, so I don't know. Um, over here, it's, uh, things are, it's very convenient. Like, there's a lot more um, uh, conveniences, drive through banks and 24 hour everything. Um, Growing up in Ireland, yeah, I had a, a it was good. Um, I grew up in a tiny little neighborhood, um, like 54 houses, and there was a ton of kids, so we were just outside playing all the time um, and doing stupid games and fighting each other, climbing trees and all the things that you do as a kid, really. Um, mm. uh, and then moving over here, I think I've, I always wanted to... I always wanted to come over here, like um, you saw it on the TV shows and uh, everything like that. And it just, it, it seemed like there were so many things that I could do over here that unfortunately I couldn't do in Ireland. For example, main event in WrestleMania. Yeah, okay. We're going to talk about that uh, a little more. When did you decide that you wanted to be a professional wrestler? Um, so it was kind of a, a gradual thing. So. I loved wrestling when I was growing up, and uh, I I I would watch it all the time. And then um, I was I was like unhealthy, and I was you know getting slight from my weight and everything like that. So um, I decided I wanted to get fit, but I didn't just want to go to the gym because I was a little bit of an alternative kid. Um, so I wanted to find something like jujitsu or something something different that I could do. And then I found out they were opening a wrestling school. Finn Balor mm -hmm. was opening a wrestling school and uh, Fergal Devitt at the time. And so I went down along to that and I just freaking, I fell in love with it. And it's, but even still, it wasn't until a few years later that I thought, oh no, I could actually, I could actually do this. And was it your, uh, your fellow uh, Irishman Seamus kind of instrumental in inspiring you to come over to this WWE world? So, so yes, yeah, so because I um, let me see. So there was there was an uh, a a different promotion in Ireland. So there was like three at the time when I was coming up through the ranks, and and Seamus wrestled for the rival company. Okay. But um, but then um, but then eventually everybody started to work together and uh and, and so my brother was actually really good my brother would help Seamus out and um and help train him and then I would go along and I would hang out with Seamus and then we kind of um became acquaintances and so then when when I got signed um I I gave Seamus a call and asked him for some advice and then he's just been the best ever since just just the absolute best like it's always it's always really interesting to me. I know people who are fans of you guys who get to hear the stories of how long that you've known the other superstars and that your journeys all led you to the same place, which is the best place in the world for professional wrestling. Uh, yeah. So it's crazy. It's cool. It's cool because if you've been on the indies, you've most likely um, crossed paths with, with people or had some, some crazy stories to share with, with people. Like I remember myself... Uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn doing a tour of Italy and uh, this was back in 2006 and like we were brought over to this promotion and they were expecting like 10,000 people a night in these arenas and we went out there first night we had like 100 people and it only <laughs> dropped down from there it was, it was one hell of an experience one hell of a tour and now you guys are both in front of tens of thousands of people 
Typically on a, on a weekly basis. Which I guess typically, for, typically. Typically. What was it like? Uh, obviously, last year, WrestleMania, we were at MetLife Stadium when you became Becky Two Belts in front of all those people. This year, you retained your title in front of no fans. What was that like, not getting any of that immediate energy from the crowd? Um, it, you, look, it's a million times better with the fans. A million times. But it wasn't as weird as I would have expected. Um, I, uh, I think... At, at the end of the day, you've got a job to do. And you, you know that there's millions of people watching on the other side. So you got to go out mm -hmm. and, and do that. But fortunately, it wasn't as... Good morning. Oh, um... hello, sir. <laughs> Is that a cameo from uh, the Monday Night Messiah over there? What's up, Seth? <laughs> Are we on the internet? We're on the internet. It's, it's me, Kayla. The intro net. This is the intro what is net. Happening? Why are well, there two things? Because because we're doing an interview with her it's, on it's, Instagram. It's, it sounds like you're as bad at technology as I am. Yeah. You didn't know you could do that. I didn't know yeah. you could do that. Yeah, you you're, do that. We're gonna get you, you on one of these soon, one. Seth. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'll talk to your people and then your people get back with my people. Yeah. Bye. It's good to see you. Bye. Um. um <laughs> so so yeah so um. So then, yeah, yeah. So look, you need the fans there. You want the fans there. At the end of the day, we had uh, we had uh, the opportunity to go out there and put on the best show possible for the people that couldn't couldn't get to be there. Um, and I'm real proud of the effort that everybody put in. Absolutely. Uh, so you were actually, obviously the Raw Women's Champion. Now you were the inaugural SmackDown Women's Champion back in 2016. Backlash. Uh, I don't know if you can even really comprehend how far you've come since then do you what do you remember how you felt on that night uh ooh, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so what's what's weird is back then i kind of felt uh a little bit a little a little bit guilty for being for being the champ you know i uh i was like oh sorry sorry guys sorry sorry i'm the champ oh. you know sorry sorry we can't all be the champ um and then, and, and then uh and then over over time i guess i i realized that look this is this is the game this is the fight business and no, nobody's going to uh nobody's going to feel that same way they're going to take their opportunities and they're going to run with it um and if you don't take yours then nobody's going to do it for you well i have a question for you and i talked yesterday was uh my, the show the bump that uh we can't wait to one day have you in studio for that but I was talking about the championship picture right now, the SmackDown Women's Championship. And the question was, and you've had a lot of friendships come and go over the years. And we we're talking about the friendship between Bailey and Sasha Banks. And if we think that they are delusional in thinking that they can both remain best friends as long as there's a championship picture. And you've experienced this on your end with even Charlotte Flair. So uh, what are your thoughts on, on, on that? I don't make friends with, with people anymore. I don't make friends with them anymore because I know that everybody wants what I have. Um, so, and, and I can't begrudge them for it, but I just, I'm not going to go through somebody else stabbing me in the back again. Um, or doing that to somebody else. Um, I, 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 it's, look, it's a matter of time. It's always numbered. It's always numbered in this game. No, no friendships last in this. I, and I agree with you, and that's exactly what my sentiments were as well. So I'm glad we're on the same page with that. Oh, but you and I can be friends because we're not going after the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Though, so. You're not you're not Okay. Unless you are, <laughs> and then I will destroy Never. you. I, would, I may only come after your jacket and your truck, and that's it. So um. <laughs> I'm well, kidding. I like okay. <laughs> um, also, uh, yesterday on the bump, we had uh, Drew McIntyre on. Congrats to the, oh, our, uh, congrats our new champ, to right? Him. Your fellow uh, European friend. Uh, yeah, what, what was your initial reaction? Oh. We talked to Seamus right after. Uh, what was your initial reaction when, when you became champ? Oh, I was delighted. Just so happy for him. Just what a great lad. Worked his way um, all the way there. What an opportunity. Everything that he's gone through. Um, I'll, I just, I, I remember the lad that I would walk through Dublin City with, you know, years mm -hmm. ago. Um, which comes back to it's all just it's a small little village wrestling mm -hmm. is and we all know each other so um to see him go from that to to this is awesome oh it's i feel like europe's taken over at, right yes, so, we, we have so many champs right and you know you got nikki cross as uh yeah. the new women's tag champion you know 
Yeah, um, we need Cesaro you know, up there. And that guy deserves, oh, we all can oh, attest yeah. that that man is one of the best that there is, so. Oh, yeah, he absolutely is. Cesaro for champ. <laughs> Cesaro hashtag for champ. Hashtag that, people. I'll hashtag it right now. Everyone start hashtagging it. Um, so we just saw the man's man walk through. Obviously, you guys are quarantining together. Since you're able to actually, you know, sit down for a moment because we're all collectively having to do this, have you guys been able to do any wedding planning? Has there been time for it? <laughs> uh, probably the opposite, actually, because we had it, we had it kind of sorted. But obviously, this has thrown a, yep. a, a spanner in the works, so um, we will have to revisit that. Yep. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so I told you we're gonna play a little game. We've we've talked about your career and your life, and uh, actually, one last thing I do want to ask you is, uh, you know, you have now defeated two out of the four. Uh, horsewoman, MMA horsewoman, there's two left. And I think you said this in an ESPN, uh, um, inter in an ESPN uh, interview. There's two left. Yep. Who do you think is next? Or who do you think is going to be coming after you next? Or who two, would you like to face next? Two down, two to go. Oh, do you know what? Uh, both at the same time. Screw it. I think you could do it. Hell, like, yeah. why not? <laughs> Sky's the limit. Okay, so we're going to do a little quick fire game uh, with just a few questions here. So I'm going to put a timer on. It's a 60-second timer and uh, just ask you some random questions. So this will, be, uh, this will be fun. So uh, I'm going to put 60 seconds on. And here we go. Talking or texting? Uh, talking. Okay. Favorite day of the week? Uh, ah, I don't know that I have one. Sunday? That's a good one. Oh, wait, favorite city in the U.S. besides the one that you live in? Um, New York. No, oh, Seattle. Oh, okay. Uh, nickname your parents used to call you? Bex. <laughs> Bex. Bex. Uh, the last song you downloaded? Um, oh, uh, it was, um, well, it was the whole um, Gigaton uh, Pearl Jam album. The new project. Okay. Album. Yes. I. Yep. I heard that you're a big fan of that. Yeah. Uh, you're, yeah. Would you Would you rather be able to speak every language in the world or be able to talk to animals? Oh, talk to animals. <laughs> uh, favorite holiday. Um, Christmas. Okay. We're at sixty seconds, but I have a few more just because you're killing these. Okay. How long does it take you to get ready? Fifteen minutes. Oh, that's really good. Wow. Uh, scale of one to ten, how good of a driver are you, especially in that truck? <laughs> <laughs> she's honest uh invisibility or super strength uh invisibility okay i yes i like that one too and um last but not least do you like do you snore <laughs> no, no i don't think so <laughs> seth snore, does she snore, snore? <laughs> no he, he said no okay he said no <laughs> Good man. All right, Becky, thank you so much for talking with me again. Congratulations. You're very deserving. Uh, I hope to continue seeing you holding that title for literally forever, if it were up to me. And I'm sure if it were up to you. Too. So um, I and hopefully, yeah, I will see you soon. Stay healthy. And uh, yeah. You too. Thanks for joining us here on the Braxton bye. Beat. Bye. How do I get over here? <laughs> Just there. press the X button. <laughs> All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the Braxton Beat with the man Becky Lynch with a special cameo by the man's man, Seth Rollins. Uh, if you um, want to rewatch this,